What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. I'm here as always with Ashley and my good buddy Andres, who you guys remember from the Ren Fair live I did a couple weeks ago. So the new Suicide Squad trailer dropped, and I think it dropped today. It says YouTube says 13 hours ago. We are coming right off the heels of the Snyder Cut releasing, and I think DC is trying very hard to be a contender against the MCU and Marvel. In my opinion, I know there's a lot of DC fans out there that think it's on par. I personally think they have uh, their work cut out for them. But we want to do a, rea a reaction trailer to the new Suicide Squad um, movie that's supposed to come out later on this year. From what I see, it's called The Suicide Squad, so it's not Suicide Squad 2 or anything like that. I see some new faces. I think that's Idris Ilba in the thumbnail here. So without any further ado we're gonna get started and hopefully you guys enjoy us watching the trailer for the first time here we go Ooh, it's a red band trailer uh okay Is that john cena Bloodsport. That's Idris Elba. Oh, Dude, that's Michael Rooker. Man, he looks good. So the running joke is that there's gonna have like they're gonna have poop on the bottom of their like shoes the whole time. Okay, as most movies coming out because of COVID and whatnot, it's going to hit theaters and HBO Max at the exact same day. Right off the bat, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like they're trying to have the Avengers um, charm, or no, let me, let me rephrase, the Avengers action with the charm of Guardians of the Galaxy. I think this new shark person who I'm not familiar King with, shark. is it King Shark? I think so. I don't know. Maybe I'm biased? What do you think, Ashley? Am I biased that DC is just trying too hard? Because if you think about it, Idris Elba, who else? Um, Michael Rooker. I think there was one more actor that was in the MCU, and now they're in this. I mean, what do you think? I mean, there are a lot of A-list actors that were in there, so I think they're trying really hard. Uh, I'll have to be honest with you, the first Suicide Squad, I don't remember it at all. It was so un 
like I don't even remember what the villain looked like really. It this looks like it would be more memorable. Uh, definitely, um, I definitely think that it would be pretty. I don't know, like that that shark thing just was super distracting to me. It just it it was it really, so distracting. It, it, really <laughs> it took me out of it. I was like, what is that thing? <laughs> And they the, really overplayed King Shark in that, and I was just like, oh. It just feels sloppy. It feels like DC as a whole is sloppy. Like, they have good directors, they have good writers, they have good actors, but no one's working as a unit. There's no end game. <laughs> <laughs> or, uh, you know, there's no goal that they're headed to. I think it's all over the place. I think that um, if they get at least, like, one person or two people to spearhead the whole project reboot it or you know redo it or something you know i think it's there's something there the the tenure is there the the history is there the characters are there dc is a very strong ip i'm still just a little jarred by the whole shark thing it it kind of reminded me a little bit of jabber draw <laughs> like like a real life jabber draw i'm not gonna lie and i'm sorry to the fans that actually that like that character and know where that character came from i i, I do apologize i just I don't know if it was just the design or what, but that totally took me out of it. Personally, think that it can, I think they are kind of pandering a little bit, trying to make it into something that it's not. I can see they put John Cena in there and I, I, I see that he's he's probably like the comedic relief of the group. I can definitely see that, but that's kind of, it looked like that's where they were gonna go with it. Andrus, what do you think about the trailer, man? And being well versed with DC and schooling me on the Flash like an hour ago before we watched this, uh, what do you think about the trailer, dude? Well, I, man, I want I love the Suicide Squad in the comics. I love what they what they do. I love the characters and the development. There is, I really do feel like there's a lot of pandering in this, and I know Harley Quinn played a prominent role in the comics, but at this point, I feel like they're using Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn as a way to draw in fanboys and those that are just looking for some excitement um, to get more people in because they really aren't as strong a competitor as Marvel is um, bringing in John Cena to bring in those that are like, oh yeah, you can't see me. And again, relief, it yourself if you try to bring in some of those Marvel fans. They really are heavily pandering, it seems. And as excited as I was to see, yeah, a second, Suicide Squad. I'm not really looking forward to this one. Let me know what you think. Are you excited for The Suicide Squad? Is this a reboot? I'm not sure. I'd like to hear from you guys in the comments as always. Uh, I'm excited, quote unquote, because it is a comic book movie and there's a chance for Batman to show up. You know how I am. Batman is the glue for DC. I'm trying to expand and learn about all these characters. Hopefully Andrews will help me with that. But if you guys are excited for The Suicide Squad dropping on August 6th, let me know in the comments below. Do you agree with our opinions? Did you like the trailer? Did it make you excited? Let me know in the comments below. Please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, it'll help me out a ton. If you wanna support the channel further, I do have a Patreon and I do have a Teespring that you can get merch uh, from the channel. I have a couple shirts on Teespring. All the links will be down below. So if you wanna help the channel in that way, consider joining me on Patreon. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. You guys are awesome, take it easy.